The year is 3E427. My name is Uvan Telvani, son of Sevath Telvani, a great man, wizard, and father. It was late in the night my father came to me in haste and told me I was to travel to the Imperial Isle of Stirk on a very important excavation. There is an alien ruin there that has gone untouched since the aliens once lived. I was to go alone and mount an expedition. He supplied me with 10,000 gold, a sword, and a few small armaments. He told me that this was important for his research, but to take this as not just an expedition, but a small vacation, as I deserved one. He was sincere in his words, but I could tell he was holding back, and something was bothering him, perhaps even frightening him. Is this trip about more than an expedition and vacation? Or could he be in some trouble? No, I mustn't worry and focus on the task at hand, the Isle of Sturk, part of the Imperial Province of Cyrodiil. That is my destination, and my focus. My father told me that I should seek not only the alien ruin there, but also any other ancient structures as well, and bring back any alchemical ingredients, as I may not get the chance to travel to Cyrodiil once again. I have been on this boat for nearly a month. And we should be arriving soon. I just pray to the three in my adventures that my father stays safe. That was a long journey. But I'm finally here. I finally arrived at the Imperial Isle of Sturk. Wow. Never seen anything like this place before. To be honest. Hello, ma'am. Speak freely, friend. How are you? I don't know you. What do you want? Uh, some rumors. Actually, I haven't heard anything interesting lately. Come to think of it, maybe ask Anius Branius in the Slode's Tale. He's the loudest man in the room. Can't miss him. That's nice. It would be nice if you told me where the Slot's Tale was, since I've literally just stepped off of a ship and I've never been here before. But all right. Ma, your turn. I'm a papa, one of the humble small folk. I make my way in the world as best I can, laboring in fields, kitchens, and workshops of lords and merchants. When times are good, I live well enough to my own work. When times are hard, I must hope for the charity of the nobles and the wealthy merchants. Well, that's fair enough. Fair enough, my lady. You continue doing whatever you were doing. I will leave you be. This is very exotic. Save off having lived his entire life in uh, Telvani Tower. <laughs> One of the most exotic things you could possibly step into. You know, um, he, he finds this place quite exotic and, um, and it has its own mystique for him. What's your story? But like anywhere he would go, he wants to talk to people, learn about the area, learn about what what the deal is here and you know get a lay of the land before he does anything too serious so let's you talk to this to say, I don't know you what do you want latest rumors I've been told old Astria Hellevore the Baron's mother has been inquiring for help don't know what for but it's something to do with the old Chloro Nordic barrows out in the wilderness those things give me the creeps to be honest you can find Astoria in the Baron's Manor outside the town. Take the road from the harbor and go right. It's next to the graveyard. That's helpful. Thank you for the directions, uh, services. Sturk has two inns, a safe harbor on the main street and Slode's Tail near the east. There are a couple of shops on the main street, a pawnbroker, smithy, general goods, apothecary, and clothing. Temple of Kinnereth is in the southeast corner of town. Temple of Kinnereth, you say? I, I know not of Kinnereth, 
very much, but um, you know, having lived a life of seclusion, uh, he doesn't know very much about anything other than the, the tribunal. Um, not that he's deeply religious, but, you know, it's like any dark elf, he has a basic belief in the tribunal. Um, and, you know, he doesn't know much about other religions, so he's a little bit excited to learn about them and see what the deal is uh, with all this stuff here. You know, he, definitely going to dive in. For all you guys watching, I, I'll just say this, you know, the, um, this is going to be a slow, methodical let's play, you know, maybe, <laughs> maybe a few episodes before we even get into any serious um, situations or get outside of town, really, so just be prepared. You know, it's going to be rather slow and we're going to take our time with, with it. Uh, but I hope you enjoy. So, yeah, he, he wants to learn. So let's see uh, what rumors are going on. The fishermen have been making fun of Quintus Tariga, the son of Gaius. Something to do with Slekis? I don't know what it's all about. Maybe ask one of them. Do you have any advice for me? There's an old alien ruin to the north of the island called Wumasur. There should still be a lot of treasure in there, if that's your business. It's said to be haunted, though. People hear strange noises from the cove at night. No secret. All the people are talking about these days is piracy. Normally, the Imperial Navy keeps the pirates at bay. But the patrols have been in infrequent lately. Provincial unrest and distracting the Legion are distracting the Legion from its duties in Cyrodiil. It's up to the local dignitaries to form a battle plan. Concius Hassel, the Perfect, and perhaps also the Merchant, Victius Pilius, or Garius Hellevor, the Baron, but they don't seem to agree on anything. In fact, it sometimes feels like they are sabotaging each other. Well, that's not very helpful to the people living here, is it? If there's pirates and stuff going on. Um, of course, <clears throat> it might be smart for me to um, look into that a little bit more, because, you know, if I can help the nobles, maybe that'll, you know, help my cause here in what I'm trying to do. I don't think I've seen you around here before. Welcome to Stug, the westernmost shore of Cyrodiil. I'm Skior, the seafarer. Is there a specific place you're looking for? Somebody in particular? Any rumors? Kayad, one of the fishermen working for Pilius, has been trying to pawn a golden amulet. Claims he found it. He never stuck me, struck me as a thief. But where else on the island could he have gotten it? I bet his employer's secretary, Asteria, would know what to do about this. Hmm. Uh, Cyrodiil has seen many wars, and the land is littered with the remnants of past conflicts. Take the old Riemann forts you see in the hinterlands, for example. These were built by the rulers of the Second Empire, who waged a constant war of conquest across all Tamriel. The fortresses fell into despair during the interregnum, but it is said that these halls are haunted to this day by the echoes of the Legion's past, and animated by their undying loyalty to the Great Riemann. So, it's actually a bit of really interesting lore there. You know, I would say, uh, just, just of note, if anybody here from Dragon Age um, fame, you know, uh, is looking at the Hinterlands there and thinking, oh, they took that from Dragon Age. Actually, no, they didn't. Um, this mod was made before Dragon Age. Um, so, yeah. Anyways. Uh, what else do we have? Here, I think I need to go to the census office. Um, check in. And and all that hubbubaloo before I head off to the major city. What time is it, by the way? It's uh, still 10 a.m. That's quite nice. Uh, census and exercise office. Okay. Speak freely, friend. Hello, good madam. With my papers here. Um, yes, yes, they all seem to be in order. Okay, well, thank you. All right, so 
Yes, well, welcome to Stirk, Saber Tavani. If you're looking for someone in particular, I can point you in the right direction. Or we could just stand here and talk about the latest rumors. Okay, same topic. Uh, do you have any advice for me? Mm, yeah, I know. I, I'm actually, that's why I'm here for the alien ruin mainly. But, you know, I kind of want to take my time. You know, enjoy it a little bit. Latest rumors. Okay. All right. Well, thank you for for your time and uh, stamping my papers and all that good stuff. All right. So I can go off to town now. You know, Savoth here doesn't he doesn't really like the rain very much. Um, he's learned to live with it to some extent, but if he can get inside when it's raining, he will. And even if he has to skip over alchemical ingredients that he needs to pick up at some point, he will, because he does not like the rain. Not one little bit. What's this here? A pawn shop. Also, we kind of need to supply up a little bit. I'm going to spend today supplying up to some degree and talking to people learning things. Um, but yeah, we need, to, we need to buy some stuff. So, Colovian Chain Curus, Colovian Steel Boots, Colovian Steel Bracer. Um, i 12. I'll, I'll, I'll pick those up because I do need some better armor, actually. Um, and I'll sell the, this stuff to you. Um, let's see here, um, this might be useful to have actually, grab that too. Let's see here, I need, I need some armor, let's see what books you have actually, because, uh, you know, Savoth is, he, he knows that knowledge is power, and you gain much knowledge from reading, so we will, we will be reading some books in this let's play, we won't read everything, don't worry. But we'll be reading uh, some of the some of the important ones throughout the throughout the let's play. Um, I, there's nothing there really to uh, to pick up. He's he's kind of interested in the the Balholrizita since he's never seen a book like it in Morrowind before or the title before. Um, but there's clearly parts to this book, and he doesn't want to buy part one, three, and four. So. Um, yeah, he's gonna avoid that, or five, I should say. Five. Um, but yeah, he he's gonna wait and see if he can find the other parts. Plus, these are expensive. <laughs> I mean, he's got 10k, but it goes quicker than you would imagine. All right, so I think. Let's let's barter a little bit with you. Um, give it to me for two thirty-five. Ah, yes, thank you. I'm listening. All right. So, guard. All right. Wait, do you know anything about anything? Quickly, barter. No, not barter. Uh, rumors. Those pirates are all everyone talks about. There's always been piracy on Acabia, but the last year they've grown even bolder. The Imperial Navy is tied up in the south, so the local governors have to sort it out themselves. But the Perfect and the Baron hate each other, and neither want to give the other the prestige of a victory. Wow, that's really crappy. I'm sorry you have to live. <laughs> um, so you have to live in this place where there's piracy going on, and the two freaking idiot government people are, you know, fighting each other instead of the pirates. Kind of sucks. Little secret. They say that in other provinces, vampires can be recognized by their monstrous features. Here in Cyrodiil, vampires are said to be weaker, but they can hide and pass among normal people unnoticed. People claim that the Mages Guild and the Imperial Curia are infested by vampire nests, and that they conspire with the vampires to keep the common people in line. 
Sounds like a bit of uh, hogwash to me, but uh, you know, Mage's Guild is kind of nasty. So, what do you? Do? You're a pawnbroker. I buy your goods, giving you cash on the counter. And if at a later date you want to recover your goods, then you need only pay me what they are worth, with a small profit, of course, for my time and trouble. I also sell things, sometimes used and worn, sometimes almost new, and all for a fraction of what they'd cost if purchased elsewhere. I'm sure. Mm. All right. I'm listening. Sounds like this piracy thing is a real bloody problem here on this island. What's this? In condemnation of piracy. Okay. So the plot thickens. By order of Concius Hassel. Okay, so the, the guy that is is against the other guy, basically, is what we're getting at here. Perfect of Stirp. Let it hereby be known that by and according to the Imperial Decree of 3E39, any and all acts of unauthorized piracy are forbidden by Imperial law. And that any citizen of the Empire to be found guilty of piracy or abating piracy, or involved in piracy in any way, will be subject to harsh penalty and punishment. Not sure if that means anything, if you're not doing anything about it, but all right. Let it also be known that the Perf Prefecture of Sturk offers a reward to any and all citizens who can offer information in regards to the plague of piracy on the Akkadian Sea. In especial where it concerns the outlaw captain known as Iria Iranu. Let it furthermore be known that any informers or citizens of valor and ability who wish to offer their aid in this affair are to address the inquiries to Serio Nemnius in Town Hall. Signed, Cautious Hustle, Perfect of Stirk. The Empire is law. Law is sacred. So we need to go to town hall, talk to Cero, if we uh, if we want to huh, learn more about this plot of piracy, and perhaps maybe help help out a little bit. Who knows? I mean, I, I could probably do something. Um, not sure how involved I want to get just yet, but you know, I'm listening. there's always the possibility that it could do good for us while we spend time here to make good with the uh, you know with the noblemen. And, and all the, the like of uh, the, you know, the perfect and all of that kind of stuff. Oop. Oop, that was a bit of a spike. Yeah. Okay. There's a smithy here. Let's see what the smithy has. Um, I don't know you. What do you want? Let's see here. We've got two helmets. Glovian Iron Gauntlets. Glovian Iron Curus. Glovian Steel Right Pauldron. I like it. I like it. Alright. Do we have any legs that are better than what I'm currently using? Reeves? It doesn't look like it. Okay. So that's a no then. Alright, so I'm going to sell you my Curus. My thing. Please lower the price to like... I don't know. Let's, let's say... Maybe 290. Yeah? Ah! Thank you. You've got my ear, let's hear it. Let's put my crap on. Let's see what this looks like. Okay. I'm gonna keep my clothes on for now. <laughs> Does not look that great, honestly, but hey, it protects me and that's what matters. Did I put the thing on? I didn't put the thing on. Fix me better than the crap that my dad gave me, that's for sure. Alright. Sorry, old man, but I had to get better armor. 
fine ooh and some fine garments perhaps yes. Yes, what is it? Sevaf is definitely interested in all of the uh, finery and things that are unique to uh, to Cyrodiil that you can't find in, in Morrowind and he'll probably buy a collection of them before he leaves the island what is yes sir hello i don't know you what do you want do you know anything about anything nope any advice for me not really oh here we go a little secret close to the cities and major settlements cyrodiil is a civilized peaceful place if you wander to the wilderness you're going to be in a lot of danger it used to be that the Imperial Legion kept the place of peace in the hinterlands, but their attention is now drawn to the unruly provinces. These uncertain times, if you don't want any trouble. Make sure to avoid the Imperial Reserve in the Upper Colovian Highlands and the Forbidden Jungles of Blackwood and Serena Woods. Well, I'm not going to Cyrodiil proper. Uh, I'm just I'm just here. I'm just gonna be here, and then I'm gonna go back to Morrowind after a, a while. So I don't have to worry about that stuff really very much. Um, fun fact: this mod um, was actually began development before Oblivion uh, came out. Before Oblivion came out, and uh, they based a lot of this this lore on the established stuff that well, Oblivion didn't really follow. So it's kind of cool. All right, let's see here. Uh, let's see. I like to have some some black pants actually. Let's get some black pants and maybe um, kind of common shirt. Yeah, let's just do that for now. It's better than what I'm currently wearing. Yeah, much much better. A lot more, even though I'm still gonna wear my robe. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Ooh, I, I like this robe more. I want this. I want this robe. Yes. Very nice. Very nice indeed. I just wish I had the other pauldron, to be honest. But that's okay. Well, maybe I'll find it somewhere. Is, is this a general lid store? Ah, Mir's trade goods. Okay, oh look at look at all the junk. You really do have a lot of junk, don't you? I mean look, I guess normal people would come in here and they'd be like, Oh cups, I need cups and a plate and some bottles you know, but I I'm an adventurer. Well, at least right now I am. You want something? I plan on living here. Used to be the island of Stirk belonged to Baron Hellivore, a fine old family, but bad with money. The old Baron had to sell the noble privileges to the Imperial Curia, who turned the town into a prefecture. Secret? Hmm. Alright, let's, let's, let's see what you've got for sale here. Ooh, chain curious. Chain. Ooh, clothing iron greaves. Alright, that's good. Uh, right pauldron, do I have a right? But I already have a right pauldron. Yeah. Expensive leather hat. Let's buy that and see what that looks like. Extravagant clothing hat. Oh, some touristy stuff to buy. Expensive pants. Expensive pants, not right now, anyways. Ooh, I, I would probably need some lanterns actually. I don't know how many, but I'm gonna get quite a few because um, I'll probably need some lanterns for when I go into the ruins. It could be quite dark in there, perhaps. So, uh, be a useful thing to have, I think.
yeah, I don't think there's anything else. All right, that's good. Let's let's go with that. Two hundred eighty-six. No. No. But yes. Thank you, madam. Thank you. Come again. I will come again. I will. Oh, I should put on my, my pants. Oh, you know, I, I'm i going to come right back, actually, because I bought pants. I forgot to get rid of my previous pants. So, well, these aren't pants. Are armor, but you get my sentiment. So you're Seva Telvani. I'm Vilius Lakshavelius. I don't think we've met. Hope you enjoy your stay in Stirk. If there's anything you need, I'd be happy to give you a little advice. I hope you find a specific place. A little advice. People have a habit of throwing little trinkets into the pool. It's for good luck. A prayer to the saints of Sirad. It's considered very rude to go fishing in the mount, so make sure you're not caught. Oh, not caught! I see how it is. I I see your scheme. I you know you go in those pools and you fish those things out when you're not supposed to. Speak freely, friend. You know that's what you do. Let's see, um, um, is there any shops that I missed? Hello. What is this about? Uh, nothing. Never mind. It's still raining. What time is it? It's now 12 p.m. and it is still raining. Oh, the alchemist! Hello, fine sir. Apologies if I seem a bit worried, Dark Elf. Well, desperate, really. Several parts of my atmospheric dictative have recently broken down. Without this device, my garden of exotic plants has completely wilted. Years of collecting the rarest, most exquisite alchemical reagents in Tamriel wasted. So what's this? A device? It's a device that helps me to maintain my e exotic plants. This flora is not active, to st is not native to stir. So, I need a device that maintains the climate conditions artificially. I sent a letter to the Mages Guild in Anvil, but they refuse to cooperate. They think it's a waste of gold and don't see any benefit on the behalf of on their behalf of course they get their alchemical allowance from the capital whereas i'm stuck here with what is soon to be a pile of compost as you can see i'm getting really desperate here yes no um this is important uh is a fellow mage an alchemist uh and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna help a fellow mage out and also maybe learn about his device there. That could be useful. So, yeah, maybe I'll help you get the parts. That would be wonderful! These are the parts I require a gear of dwarven make, three sheets of quality lace silk, a sharpened lens, and a power source. A welcome stone should do the trick. You may be able to find one in the alien ruin on the island. I have no idea where to find the other parts. Maybe ask those no good village yokels. Good luck. Okay. I suppose I have a moment. No, but I, I do. What is it? I do need potions from you before uh, I go out. I realize your stock isn't going to be super full, but yes, I'm going to need some standard restore health potions. Sounds good. Really, what I need is magic potions. What do we want to speak of? Marking, that's awesome. In fact, I'm gonna take that. Health, restore health. Yep. You have to be kidding me. He doesn't have any magic potions. Holy crap. 
There you go. There's a big wad of cash for you. Well, you, sir, are disappointing. I needed magic potions, and you didn't have any to give me. I wonder if there's anyone else who might sell magic potions. Right? Yeah, you know, maybe the healer, perhaps. Water hyacinth. Oh, water hyacinth! Nectar sacks. Fortify <laughs> magic. Store magic. <sighs> I know this is someone's plant, but I need it. Mm. Walk around back here. Oh, perhaps there's plants within the city I can pick. Oh, there is Trinity fruit. Hmm. Anything back here? It appears there is not. Well, I'll just have to pick elsewhere. Ooh. Lady Mantle. Lady's Mantle is a restore health. Ooh. Yes, please. So I actually got a, um, a mod um, for graphic herbalism, which basically means that when I click on it, I just pick it up automatically. And if there's nothing there, there's nothing. If there is, there is. But um, it doesn't work for this um, uh, for this area because it's a modded area. And so uh, these are all custom added alchemical ingredients that we're finding. And because of that, they uh, they don't you know the the mod doesn't check for them and, and then use them in its script. So uh, sadly, we'll have to open up the menus and hit take all and all that kind of stuff. Ooh, Aldvera, you know if you've played Elder Scrolls Online, Skyrim, uh, Oblivion. You'll actually know some of these plants from those games. These plants aren't actually in, you know, Morrowind originally. Most of them um, that are here on this on this island are not natively found in Morrowind. They're natively found in Cyrodiil or some other such location, um, like this island as an example. Um, and so, you know, these are all unique and special gonna have to you know pick these up uh, while I'm here because I won't really have access to them after that well I, I can always come back but uh, that, you know we're role-playing role-playing yes and this uh, might you know he wouldn't come back it's <laughs> at least a three month trip to uh, to this island from from Morrowind and that's a long bloody time to be uh, to be coming to an island for some plants, so yeah, not not really worth it that much. But since he's here now for the Alien Ruin and all the other things, he might as well you know pick up pick up what he can. So that's exactly what we're going to do. But for now, I need to ask around town to the village yokels a little bit, you know. Um, about this stuff, essentially, that we have to get uh, for this guy, and so we're gonna do that a little bit. But we're gonna, you know, we're gonna just have a good time and look around a little. Um, uh, some flowers here. Oops. Water hyacinth. Yep. Blood lilies. Hmm. Very nice, very nice indeed. But some, you know. Yes. Actually, he wants to check out the temple because he's extremely interested in it. But this whole pirate thing has has him intrigued, uh, at the very least. And so, yeah, we're gonna look into the pirate situation. I think. Yes. Right. 
So is this town hall then? Uh, excuse me. This is Master Pirlis' property, stranger. Unless you're here on the master's business, I would suggest you get lost quick. Okay. Wow. Hello. What? I'm very busy, Telvani Arcanist. Do you wish to visit Master Pilius? Uh, I've, I've heard word of a golden amulet. I, th I thought I'd tell you about it because I was told that you were the one to come to. Yes. I've been informed of this rumor. No need to bother Master Pilius with these trivialities. Though, if you could find the time, I would appreciate it if you could look into it. This Kaad is under contract with us, and he is obligated to hand over any items found while working on Master Pilius's boats. Even if it's just an ordinary theft, we'd ga gladly provide a reward for such information. Ooh, a reward, huh? Okay. Well, I will go look, look for this, uh, what's his name? Uh, Kayad. See what um what the deal is with the amulet there. Because, That's you know, true. it's um, basically sounds like free money to me. But uh yes, okay, so this is not town hall, is what I'm understanding. This is Pilius Manor for the Pilius guy. Which is fair enough. That's he's a he's the main nobleman of the island. Of course he has a massive manor all to himself, the bugger. But um I need to find town hall what I need because I want to talk to them about this pirate situation and see what's going on with it the primatorium primatorium what's a primatorium a primatorium imperial tax notice by order of Uriel Septim the eighth Emperor of Tamriel and the esteemed members of the Elder Council let it hereby be known that the Elder Council in the session of the 18th day of first seed this year has unanimously decided upon the abolishment of the 34th War Tax. This tax, having been instated in the year 3E401, in order to support continued pacification of the provinces in the wake of the provisioners of the Sim Similarica. As peace and prosperity have henceforth returned to all quarters of the Empire, through the tireless vigilance of the noble Imperial Legion, it is now decided that the 34th War Tax is to be replaced with a citizen contribution not exceeding 10 septums per head of a household for the maintenance of roads and watchtowers in these times of need. The Empire's law, law is sacred. So, actually, an interesting bit of information here. Uh, oh, there's an Imperial Decree. Okay. So, interesting bit of information here is that actually the time of Morrowind time that we're in right now is actually a very peaceful time like there's not a lot of conflict going on there's not it's it's like sort of the calm before the storm if you know about uh, oblivion um it's the calm before the storm and there's you know i just went in the wrong door there's a lot of um, peace and prosperity and success for everyone i'm listening uh, here. And so it's pretty good. Oh, it's Hassel, the other dude. Hold on, I have to see what this is. Colovian Iron Helm. How cool is that? I want one of those. Can I, can I get my hands on one of those? Just to, yeah, I just want it. Greetings, traveler. I am Cocius Hassel, perfect of Sterk, by grace of the Emperor and the Elder Council. Please allow me to officially welcome you to the town. What do you require? You, you offer training? Short blade, sneak, and acrobatics. Okay. I am the Perfect of Sterk, appointed by the Empire as the sole administrative authority of this town. Having received the rights and privileges through which I enforce the law. This means I am responsible for the Imperial Watch, the Census and Excise Office, the maintenance of walls, streets, and docks, and the general safety of the citizens under my jurisdiction. Okay. So this is the dude who hates the dude that's in the manor, basically. 
and they all, you know, they they have power together and work against each other as much as possible. And you have a dead plant, sir. You got my ear. Let's hear it. Why did you let your blackberry bush die? That's not nice. That's not nice at all. Ow. I've never seen anything like this before. Wow. Oh, that must be uh, something. Cool, cool, cool. And just a whisper, whisper. A lot of the times that I'm talking in this Let's Play, they I'm are listening. in the character perspective. So while I may know exactly what this is, he does not. So let's try to stay in character a little bit there. Guard. I'm an officer of the Imperial Watch, move along. Background. I'm an Imperial God. Okay. So you don't really know much. You want something? Okay. So this 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 is not considered town hall either. But I, oh, or maybe it is. Speak freely, friend. Serionemius. Yes, this is town hall. Okay. Oh, and this is the town hall. Oh, cool. This is where the town hall meetings happen. Um, do you mind if I just, I'm just, I just, I want to read this. Decisions and declarations of Emperor Uriel Septim the Seventh, and his loyal servants in the Elder Council, number six seventy eight eight seven six five one two one three e four twenty six. This pamphlet is a listing of last year's notable imperial declarations. Most of it involves taxation, trade law and censored literature. About a third of the pamphlet consists of formal condemnations of various provincial rebellions. <laughs> okay. Well met, traveler. I am Serio Nemius. What do you need? Directions to local services or a specific place? I can help you with Cyrodiilic lore or share a little secret if you like. Uh, there's actually a few things I want to talk to you about. So... Uh, tell me a little secret. They say that in the other provinces, vampire... I think we read this already. Okay. Mm -hmm. Official affairs are handled at the Primatorium. Nope, that's where we are. Okay. Uh, tell me a little bit about Cyril. The Mage's Guild is a guild of students of the arcane arts. Go there to find wizards for hire or training goods and services. Guild stewards know where to find work. Access to the Arcane University, Cyrodiil's most important place of learning, is exclusive to members of the guild. Um, so I can't talk to you about the piracy? I'm confused. So there's no no dialogue about the piracy? Uh, persuasion? Bribe you? Bribe you? Bribe you? Maybe that some new dialogue topics. Um, latest rumors. Those pirates are all everyone talks about. Yes, okay, but that's what I wanted to talk to you about. Okay, but you uh, apparently don't have any dialogue topics about the pirates. You. Hmm. Well, I thought the plot was thickening, but apparently yes. not so. Or perhaps I just have to discover it for myself. Who knows? Who knows? Oh, so this must be the pond they were talking about where people throw crap in it. I'm more interested in the plants, quite frankly. Um, all of the plants. All of the time. What is this? Yes, picking flowers out of the pond. I know, I know. It's on becoming, but I mean, I must, I must have all the plants, all of the plants. I'm a mage after all, and a traveled alchemist, studied alchemist, I should say. So what time is it? It is 4 p.m. Uh, it sounds like it's getting time to wind down a bit. Uh, I need to talk to people about that device, though, and see if anyone has anything for it. Of 
Perhaps there could be uh, some people around town that could help me. Um, not you. <laughs> not you, apparently. So yeah, Savor, Savor also loves loves the alchemy. He loves he loves experimenting with new plants and creating uh, new things if he can. And, um, as you could as you can see, actually, I'll show you here. We started off with quite the high alchemy skill of 70 um, because he was trained heavily in alchemy, um, a little bit in enchanting as you can tell, and um, a lot in conjuration and uh, enough in destruction. You know. And his other stuff is all pretty, pretty low <laughs> as you can tell um, because those were the main things he focused on. He did a bit of alteration here and there, but not much. Um, so he, he knows it. He wants to learn more, but yeah. You know. I don't know you. What do you want? Well, uh, I want to know about these. I need like silk or some. Oh, you're looking for lace silk, you say? Yes, I just picked up several sheets at Carpius Manor. Good as new. I just need to rinse out the tallow. I can sell it to you for a hundred drakes. I'll take it. A pleasure doing business with you. All right, I got the silk. Speak freely, friend. I got the three lace silk bolts to be used in the atmosphere. Okay, so I got the the laced silk bolts, um, and then I need a dwemer. Yes. What else do I need? Okay, so I have talked. Dwarven gear, three sheets of. Okay, got that. A sharpened lens, and a source of arcane power. Okay, so. Let's go down to the docks, and maybe, maybe some people at the docks know about where I can find some of this stuff. Hey, lady! Head on. You know anything about anything? No. No, you don't. Of course you don't. It's okay, though. It'll be alright. I don't know you. What do you want? I want to know... A sharpened lens? Maybe Procius Pilius, the lighthouse keeper, could help you. There's a rowboat in the harbor that can take you to the lighthouse island. Oh, nice! I can go talk to the yes, lighthouse, dude. Okay. And I, if I remember correctly, I'm looking for Kayad, and he works the docks. Kayad works the docks. Are you Kayad? Nope, you're Anik. So, where are you from? Hello, Anik. Do you know anything about it? No, you don't know anything about it. What about secrets? Mm, advice? Rumors. Quintius Tariga, the son of old Gaius, claims he saw Sleekies on the beach when he was out fishing. Sleekies! I bet my boat that boy's been drinking. Sleekies? That's just an old sailor's story. Talk to Aeneas Gorinius about it. He's the bard in Slode's Tail Inn. Quintin Tariga. Okay. So... Some son is claiming he's seen crap. That's just... Yes. Greetings! I am Restia Nigilus, captain of the Blessed Abstendar. We do fish transports from here to the harbor of Anvil. They're usually a place available for passengers if you don't mind the smell. Tell me your destination and I'll see what I can do. If you're new to stir, I can tell you about local services or describe a specific place that may interest you. Do you know anything about this? The ship goes to Anvil. Okay. Well, I have no interest in going to Anvil. Um, I am here for the alien ruin, specifically on this island. But thank you for letting me know. Oh, that, that must be the lighthouse that we have to go to. Okay. 
Well, let's... I'll tell you what, let's do this. It's 5 p.m. Uh, I think we have enough time to do a few more little things today. So let's check this out. I think, you know, let's... What's this? It's a warehouse? Warehouse. Oh, don't mind me. Don't mind me. Hey, man, what's going on here? How you doing? Speak freely, friend. Foul murder is punished by compensation, hard labor, and incarceration. Hmm. Alright. Uh, don't mind me. Don't mind yes, me, Dunmer. bald shirtless man. Perhaps there's something in this warehouse. Now, something I haven't told you guys yet about. Oh. Something I haven't told you guys yet about our friend here, character that I'm playing, is that he he's not a thief by nature. Like he doesn't steal um, all the time, and he's not going to be going around doing massive grand larcenies or anything of that nature. But he uh, and he's not going to be joining the thieves guild. <laughs> okay, but you know it. If stealing can get him towards his goals, he'll do it. So, like, right now, right, he needs a welcome stone for this dude, right? He could go to the alien rune, but it's not easy to just steal this one. And plus, he wants to keep all the welcome stones in, the, from the alien ruin. Um, so he's just going to steal this one along with the coin. And since he's here and he has the opportunity, he'll take a look around. And see if there's anything else worth nicking. Um, like I said, in general, he's not gonna—he's not gonna be stealing stuff all the time or anything, uh, because that's just not him. He doesn't—he doesn't—you know—he doesn't care for theft, um, except for, like I said, when it when it suits him, when it suits his own ends, and when it helps make a task that he has to do a little bit easier. But he doesn't mind, you know, doing it a little bit. He'll be careful about it, but he's not going to be stealing stuff all the time. So don't expect that from him. It's not the kind of character that he is. Alright, well, we found, found the Welcome Stone there. So that's good. We have a Welcome Stone, and we have the Cloth. Well, it was never here. Goodbye. <laughs> uh, and now we just need the, uh, the, the tuning device, is that what it's called? What is it? Options. We need, yeah, we got the silk, we need dwarven gear, um, and a sharpened lens. So the sharpened lens will come from the, the lighthouse guy, apparently, so let's go talk to him about that. He can help us out with it, apparently. Then we have to figure out how to get a dwarven gear on an island where there's no Dwemer ruins. And we're not going to go all the way back to Morrowind to find a Dwemer thing. <laughs> no way, no how. That's a three month trip. You kidding me? Absolutely not. So we'll just have to butter up to this dude in the lighthouse here. And by the way, you know. Really. This architecture is amazing. He, he's never seen anything like it in his whole life, and um, it's very uh, unique and different to him. Yes, since he's only ever really seen a Telvanni Tower before. That's you want pro something, friend? Procius Perlopius. What a funny name. Why a visitor? I'm Procius, keeper of the flame. Not many people come up here, you know. I wish I could offer you something to drink. Hmm. Oh well. So, look, I'm looking for a lens. Oh, that sounds like quite the problem. What are you looking for? A sharpened lens. I can help you with that, if you help me in turn. I need some groceries, but it's such a bother to row to town and back, and someone needs to stay here and guard the flame. 
Could you pick up some things for me? I need two loaves of Colovian bread, two Trinity fruit, and five potatoes. Oh, and a new ba bucket. I dropped the last one down the stairs. Here's a list in case you forget. Thanks a lot. Wait a minute. Hold on. <coughs> just, a, just a second. It's ram time. You're, you're telling me that you dropped a bucket. For for one, this is just point one. You dropped a bucket down the stairs. And you're so lazy that you're like, no, I'm just going to, no, man, I'm just going to stay up here. I need the bucket for, so I don't know what you need the bucket for, to be honest with you. But you need the bucket for some reason. And instead of just walking down the stairs, picking up the bucket, bringing it back up here, at which you're probably going to have to walk down the stairs at some point anyways I would imagine I don't know to go poop or something I, I don't know but anyways you're, you could be too lazy to walk down the stairs and get your bucket well guess what I'm not buying you a bucket you're gonna, get, you're gonna get the bucket that you dropped down the stairs that's what you're gonna get oh and another thing and another thing what I have to say to you is that you're too you the, the boat is like not even a mile from shore like, it's, it's very short. You're so lazy that you can't row the boat over there, get your groceries, row the boat back. Instead, you're going to make me, who's already rowed here once, row back to the shore, then come back here again, and then back to the shore again. Look, I'm not complaining, but you're a lazy, you're a lazy person. You're just a very lazy person. And I, you know... I can't believe you're gonna make it. And who, who eats, who, who, who wants two loaves of bread and five potatoes? Is that what you eat? Oh, 